if you are looking for a complete PC build with no bottlenecks that will allow you to play your favorite games at your favorite resolution, this video is going to be for you. I will show you the best PC builds for every budget and every resolution, explaining to you the level of performance that you will get and the link to all of these PC builds will be down below in the video description as well with bonus PCs that I will talk about in a second. That being said, let's start. With the first one we have a 1080p $700 ultra gaming PC build. This one has the Ryzen 5 5600 for the CPU and the RX 6650 XT for the GPU. This PC will allow you to play at 1080p ultra settings with no issues. In fact, on a 12 game average at 1080p, the RX 6650 XT was able to average 85 FPS. Bear in mind that we are talking about high demanding titles on ultra settings like Cyberpunk 2077. If you want to play easy to run titles such as CS2 and Valorant, you can expect 200 plus FPS on average so you can get a 240 hertz 1080p monitor if you want to for the rest of the components you get 32 gigs of ram which is amazing not only for gaming but also for content creation and productivity work then you get an aftermarket cpu cooler for our ryzen 5 5600 a nice b550 motherboard that has all the features that you need for gaming then for the case we have a montec air 100 argb micro atx mid tower case i think this one looks amazing and it has plenty of airflow and on top of that it comes with four pre-install fans which is going to be huge and last but not least you get a 600 watt 80 plus gold power supply that's going to be plenty for this build so 700 dollars and you are playing at 1080p ultra settings with no stutters moving up a tier for 1200 dollars you can get the 1440p high to ultra settings gaming system this one has the amd ryzen 5 7600x because it's on a discount right now and for the gpu you get the rx 7800 xt in terms of performance at 1440p ultra settings in high demanding titles you can expect a hundred plus fps on average or even more depending on the game and the settings in my opinion this is the best price to performance value gaming pc build that you can get for any resolution because you can actually play at 1080p ultra at very high frame rates and you can also play at 4k with the upscaler technology on which is fsr in this case from amd and you can achieve a very smooth performance even at 4k resolution at around this price point you can also consider the rtx 4070 super if you have another hundred dollars to spend but remember you will have bonus pieces down below in the video description for more budgets in case you are willing to spend more for the rest of the components we have an aftermarket cpu cooler for our ryzen 5 7600 x then we have a nice b 650m motherboard that has plenty of features 32 gigs of ddr5 memory at 6000 megahertz which means that it's very fast then we get a one terabyte gen 4 ssd this time instead of gen 3 from the last pc which by the way gen 3 ssd is is all that you're going to need for gaming anyway. Then we have the same case in the Montec Air. And last but not least for the power supply, we have a 750 watt 80 rated unit, meaning that is the best quality from NCXT. The total price for this system is 1215 bucks. When I'm recording this video, maybe when you are watching this, it's more expensive or cheaper. And I highly recommend you checking the links in the description for the latest prices. Moving up a tier once again, we have the 1440p Ultra slash 4K high gaming system. This one has the same Ryzen 5 76 with X, but this time for the GPU you get the RTX 4070 Ti Super. This PC will allow you to play at 1440p ultra settings and you can average over 120 FPS in this type of games at 1440p. If you higher the resolution to 4K, you can expect 70 plus FPS on average on high to ultra settings and remember that you have DLSS which is the upscaler technology from Nvidia so you can achieve even higher FPS depending on the game and the settings. In terms of easy to run games, as the ones I mentioned before like Fortnite, Valorant and these type of shooters, you can expect 240 plus FPS on average at 1440p competitive settings. For the rest of the components, we get the same motherboard, CPU cooler and memory kit as the last system, so 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, a nice B650M motherboard and the deep cool CPU cooler which is going to be enough for our Ryzen 5. Then you also get a 1 terabyte Gen 4 SSD and the same power supply too. But then we get a different case in the deep cool CH360. This is an excellent micro ATX case that in my opinion is one of the best looking cases out there and it's going to give you plenty of airflow with three pre-installed fans and a front mesh panel. The total price when I'm recording this video is $1,547 so a 
slightly over 1500 bucks but trust me it's going to be worth it and i do not recommend you downgrading components here if you want a 1440p ultra settings experience while getting all the nvidia technologies such as dlss a better level of ray tracing and it's also going to be better for productivity work and content creation in general but anyway we are talking about gaming pc builds in this video and moving up a tier once again for around 1900 dollars you can get a ryzen 7 7800x 3d for the cpu which is one of the fastest cpus when it comes to gaming in the entire market in fact it's arguably the best one and then for the graphics card we have the rx 7900 xtx going for 930 bucks this pc will allow you to play at 4k ultra settings high fps on that same 12 game average i've mentioned before the 7900 xtx was able to average 93 fps making it the second fastest gpu in the entire market when it comes to rasterized performance right below the rtx 4090 which is a much more expensive gaming gpu you can also consider the rtx 4080 super which is going for around 1150 dollars at the moment so you are spending 200 dollars more for about the same rasterized performance but you get the nvidia technologies so if you really value ray tracing and dlss then nvidia is going to be your best option but remember in that case you are spending 200 extra dollars you will have the 4080 super alternative in the description as well with more pcs that i will talk about in a second for the rest of the components you get the msi b650 gaming plus wi-fi motherboard which has plenty of features for gaming and is all that you're going to need at this price point and then you get two terabytes of gen 4 ssd instead of a one terabyte which by the way you can always upgrade down the line if you want to and it's a very easy upgrade to make and then for the cpu cooler we have the thermal ride phantom spirit 120 this is going for 35 dollars and it's going to be plenty of cooling for our ryzen 7 7800 x3d and last but not least we have the msi mpg 850 watt 80 plus gold power supply 80 rated unit and enough wattage for this build if you want to play easy to run titles you can expect 300 plus fps on average at 4k resolution competitive settings and as i said before there are bonus pieces for everyone in the description so if you want the best of the best let's say you want the rtx 4090 and the best performance possible and you are willing to spend over 3000 bucks you have a pc there and if you are working with a tight budget below 700 dollars you will have pieces for you as well in there and also if you need personal pc help that's the top link in the description thank you guys for watching thank you for the